More negotiations today with the market becoming maybe a bit more anxious about the debt ceiling negotiations as little progress, as far as we know, has been made ahead of that potential June 1st deadline. Dow down over 200 points at its lows, S&P and NASDAQ both down over 1% and volatility across the board has been eerily subdued for the last several months and we're finally starting to see a bit of an uptick today. Regional banks, well, they're continuing with gains today after Dallas Fed Reserve President Logan said earlier today that central banks liquidity backstop should be available whenever banks need it. There's been lots of hawkish rhetoric from the Fed over the last week or so. CME FedWatch tool now pricing in a 27% probability of a 25 basis point hike at the June meeting. Lots of eco data left this week. Tomorrow we'll get CPI and PPI out of the UK. Treasury Secretary Yellen tomorrow. Thursday we'll get first quarter GDP, core PCE prices, and real consumer spending. Friday, durable goods and the Michigan consumer sentiment. VOLQ and ES options, well, as mentioned earlier, volatility finally on the rise. And VOLQ, the NASDAQ vol, up over 6% today to about 18, but still hanging near the lows of the year. Busy volume today in this week's ES options, the May 4th weekly 4,200 calls, over 18,000 of those have traded all opening today. And with vol on the rise, we're seeing at the money ES implied vol expiring this Friday about 16%, and that's holding pretty steady going into next week. Bitcoin and CME news, Bitcoin trying to make a little bit of a rally back, but continues to trade in a very, very tight range, volatility picking up just a little bit today. And in CME news, Monday through Friday, Bitcoin and Ether futures options are now available, as well as Tuesday, Thursday on the micros. Additionally, Option volume has started off 2023 in a very strong position. 360 million contracts traded, average daily volume of 5.6 million for a record quarter in the first quarter, specifically in the equity index. Option volume reached a record 1.3 million average daily volume.